No time to lose. No time to lose. No time to lose. My hammer. There is no escape. No time to lose. Illusion You're open. Shouldn't let your guard down. Let the show begin. Absorption test. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. No time. Out of my No time to lose. Illusion shattered. Now you shall perish. You can run, but you can't hide. Ready, steady, go. Animal test 6308. No time to lose. Illusion shattered. Inazuma shines eternal. Rip time. Shine down. Shattered. Enhanced animal module 75. 
I had only just yes. <laughs> Inazuma shines eternal. Shine down. <laughs> Or the run will be linked in the Wanna come up with tea? <laughs> What's one thing that you would tell your younger self? I'm not just stay true to yourself. Don't worry about what other people are thinking. YouTube channel? Yeah. Or in the YouTube video. Uh, so Professor will get me all the links and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll post them on the YouTube video. So anybody who is interested can go find them there. Uh, they're also on the speedrunning page, like uh, they said. Um, our, so everything so far seemed pretty straightforward. Um, there's a few tricks, but they've all seemed pretty, pretty easy. Um, can I take some uh, this moment to explain some stuff since you don't have any questions? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> explain anything in the game that you'd like. And then um, it works great because I'm at the shop and I can go through them. Yeah. Um, here at the shop. Uh, there is uh, some items that I would like to explain. Crystal bottle. For 100% run, these are what stores your like full heals, your red potions in Legend of Zelda, your uh, your Koopos coins in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, all that fun stuff. Um, but it doesn't activate when you die. When you die, you die, and you're dead. That's it. Um, blue souls, these are your double damage. These do what you need when you need it. It's really cool. Red souls are your fuel, and they go up with each level up. And then your golden pumpkin, it raises your health by one point. Very simple. And they give you a nice little thing for that. Um, actually, after this chapter, uh, keep the timer running when I'm done like, explaining when I go to Jack's house. But, like, after this, I'd like to go to Jack's house and explain something. Um, this is our second stopping trip. This is where you get pumpkin shield level 2. We will not be getting level 3, sorry. I want to just because it takes too much money. Yeah, I've tried to route this so hard to get level 3 into any system. It's going to take, like, a year to figure out. But if, if anyone, any mathematicians in the audience, even though I'm not a mathematician of the Yogi's Revenge Discord, but any other mathematicians here, if you want to figure it out, go for it. But, uh, 
Everything has a uh, level, oh, level two and level three, but with uh, things you have to buy, like these presents, you have to buy them at level one. They're uh, pretty cool. Um, what I like about this run is, if you want to take out the pumpkin shield and get cold front or uh, freezing enemies to attack them faster, you can. If you want to make your repossession as big as possible to stun all the enemies and build up your combos for uh, strength, you can do that. This game is very you don't have to do the pumpkin shield route. You can do what you need in your playstyle. The fact is it is using the pumpkin shield, however, if you're not at that level, that is okay. Do what you're comfortable with before you go into the hover spot. No, my soul. Okay, so yeah, it is very much a, a playstyle thing. If you're, if you're not meshing with the pumpkin shield for some reason, you can try something else and see if that works better. Yes. This, this, is, this is very freeform with Santa Jack. Santa Jack is your, um, your status person, your nest from Earthbound. Hey, we got Earthbound. Everyone loves Earthbound. I've definitely played Earthbound. I love Earthbound. I prefer the Halloween Let's pack, though, because you can Take probably guess I like Halloween. Yeah. You know, all right then. But I should finish with explanation. Um, I'll give you a 3, 2, 1 to resume the time. 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, All right then, so right here we are going to uh, the residential area. Remember, we have a key, so we have to actually use the key. Whirling snow. So, uh, sorry, uh, are you, you said you were having the jack skeleton sometimes, right? Uh, after this chapter, I, I can only gotcha. access it in the chapter to left, but when I get there, just keep that. Ready to so just, yeah, sure. Delve into um, My do you want to, uh, do you want to go to a break after skeleton touch? Uh, sure. Okay. Alright, so right here is the uh, runaway clown. You need to have a uh, repossession on. Uh, you can use pumpkin pin, but like, there's no point to. So there's five avenues, so if he goes down a loop, just put, just put a present down both the exits. So, two before avenues, so one here, and then one here. So the L1, the L2 button activates it, but on Xbox it's the white button. So uh, I stop him. Oh no, he's still moving. So uh, Hell Witch, we, we just talked to, how did she get in front of us? There's probably a back there. Which is shocked that I don't know if any boy is just like it. That we just never see. But uh, he's like, hmm. We need a tool, but who do we know who's a tool? I mean, has a tool. Oh, right, Dr. Finkelstein. So, uh, yeah. We have to go back to his lab. Ah, uh, back to the lab again. Uh, back to the lab again. So, this is just a big, like, question moment. It's a lot of walking in this chapter. Witness the power of the watch. There's not a lot going on in the water. Yeah. If this was a game done quick, boink, boink, this would be a good donation section. Boink, boink. I'm free during the summertime. Boink, boink. Alright, I'm free. Delve into destiny. Leave for space. Take flight. Oh man, so what, uh, what, uh, what, what goal are we? We're going back to get the tool, uh, we're just, this is, uh, earlier you were talking about how we'd have to reach it, are you gonna have to do another fight here, or? No, we just, I'm gonna go back up. Okay, gotcha. But he did, okay, if they remake this game, put an elevator here. Like, that's the only quality of life I want in this game, just put an elevator in here. This is a, it does, this is a 70 second does. walk. Yeah, it does seem weird that they would make you walk all the way back up and there's no enemies or anything. Well, there is enemies, but they're in Sally's room, which is right there, and then Igor's room. And, and you don't need to go in there? Not unless you have to Okay, so yeah, that's the... 
unnecessary, but. Look at you, Boo Girl. Rain outlines your fate. Whirling snow. I was gonna go to the chase. This is the last time you're here. Sorry for all your confusion. You're gonna say something wonderful. Coming to the chase. Semester. Also, did everyone ask you why didn't I submit this to Game Stuff quick? I did. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm here, aren't I? No, I, I forgot. I forgot what I, I forgot what I was gonna say. Yeah. I oh, did um, that with laughs. So, in a hundred percent, you'd have to go in and fight. Is that a? So, I guess a hundred percent. I'm just. You said it was like seven hours. Uh, how much more is there to collect in a hundred percent versus any percent? Everything. <laughs> Also, if you're really good at I'll just show you. It's just in and out. <laughs> okay, sure. My apologies. You're in. Written in the stars. Let me scry. Let me leave you a verse. That's enough yeah. little box. Okay. So that's one of the items. Uh, the crystal skull. There is eight of them in the game, and then you buy one crystal bottle. Four of the bottle. Okay, so there's not a lot going on there. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. I'll show you what happens if you mess up. If you're doing a straight 45 degree angle, you will either hit the three, or if you do it wrong, holy proclamation. if you do it wrong, I, I can't even mess up. There you go. If you do it wrong, you'll... I can't even mess up. It's funny. You'll land up in the, uh, halfway down the spiral staircase. Okay, you just have to finish walking now. Yeah, it still saves time, but not a lot. So there is no reason to go down. Uh, so I assume you can't just let like, walk off. You can. It's just bad to lay next to the door. Yeah, so you can just walk off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, Oh, um, going back to 100%, um, I have to all the chapters with the highest rank at Shadows of Fate. I need to put all the figurines through both chapter bonuses and uh, hidden places. And I need to put the secret chapters. I actually skipped both of the other ones. Okay. Um, one of them is you go back to Sally in Chapter 7 and make the sleeping time to be from Nightmare for Christmas, Black Breath, Storm War, and uh, Deadly Nightmare. And then this one, which I just skipped in Chapter 12, uh, you just get an eager open to back from the back of the uh, laboratory. Okay. Okay, so he has a cycle. Every time he does a quarter turn, it's, it's like a just then statement. Like, do a roll. If it fails, keep turning. If it succeeds, go forward. Okay. So, like, I've seen him spin there for a solid 20 seconds. And he is not sensitive to the, uh, like, you have to be right on top of it. I, I don't like this. I'm s I really don't like this chapter. But not as much as the next one, and we'll get to that after these messages. So okay, not now, but, but like after we get to Jack's house for the break. Yeah. And this just seems obnoxious. <laughs> and then sometimes. And then sometimes they just go off on their own after 30 seconds. Oh, jeez. So, like, you can sometimes, like, get a perfect one here. Oh, God. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. And then you just go in your pocket and use the bone driver. There, we saved a uh, clown. Trust me, it's, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, 15 minutes. All right. I am inside Jack's house. It's a, it's a selectable area. From the uh okay so yeah. this is where you can just take a break look at the like the movies what you've collected and the music all right then is this where you want to take a break just do a quick commercial break 
Yeah, we're, we're going to take a quick wellness break. Uh, just uh, kind of like to promote uh, healthy gaming. Uh, obviously, like in the middle of a run, it's going to be hard to do it. But we want to promote, you know, getting up, stretching, making sure that you're taking water, bathroom breaks, anything you need. So we're going to take a quick few minute break. Uh, just before we do, I would like to remind everybody uh, that we do have AGDQ 2022 online. That's going to be on the 9th through the 16th of January. And you can uh, get more information on it over at gamesonquick.com. Uh, we're going to take a quick call on the spike, like I said, we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll continue with the rest of Nightmare Before Christmas. Let the show begin. 
Time to go. Wind strike. Time to go. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the GDQ Hotfix. This is How to Train a Speedrunner, and we're in the middle of bringing Nightmare Before Christmas to his revenge. We're here with Professor. This one with wind and cloud. I'm doing this. Midnight Phantasmagoria. What have we done already? I've been enjoying it. Are you all set to go? Oh, I'm all set to go. Just give me a three to one. Let's dance. Three, two, one. Let's go. If y'all notice, I put a top hat on. Shut up. 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 This is the worst one? Yes. Alright. You'll see What's why. What's up? Have a go. Perfect. First step, shout out to Ignisus. My arch nemesis! For figuring out this strat that makes this chapter a lot easier. Wrong one. Go to game settings, switch to manual. Okay. Um, here we're introduced to the King Skeleton, which is the, like, the biggest Time to go. baddie. Uh, he cannot be attacked from the front. I said he can't be attacked from the There you go. So he walks it. Right. So right here, um, we're going to go into the Vampire Brothers Castle. They're worse because they do, uh, they have blue exclamation One with wind and cloud. The crack. Oh. Um, the second round I did this of this game because, uh, the second round is easier than the fastest round, which I just Safe round. Time to go. This is where we do our money grinding. Because there is a place called uh the Cloud Tide. The birds call! Wind strike! Time to go. But uh there you can get about a thousand thousand twenty five hundred soul per time you can spawn every time you have to go back.
more speed. <laughs> Another test. Shut up. <laughs> Illusion shattered. <laughs> Beg for mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Let us cross swords. Beg for mercy. Shut up. Freeze to the core. Should replace my Do a girl's birth by now. 
Shadows. Shudder. Crush. Good grief. Cutscene will uh, unload them. So in the cutscene, he runs into this door. First off, this door doesn't lead anywhere. Second off, you're not supposed to go in this door. More speed. You're supposed to go in this door. <laughs> Are you just not able to go into the other door? Oh no, that just leads to bonus stuff. Oh god. And then here, this is where we turn it back to automatic. Because if you do manual, it's um, positioning something on the top four that we don't need. Um, you notice that the, uh, uh, health bars are back? Um, that's a toggleable option. In the PlayStation 2 version, it's automatically on. And in the Xbox version, it's off. Okay. Um, is there any reason to not have it on? Like, does it, like, cause lag frames or something? Nope. It just takes, okay. it just takes time to go into the menu and turn it on. Okay, so if you're already in there, you can turn it on if you want it on. So right there, I d demonstrated there's loose boards. You cannot step on. No turning back. I wanted to demonstrate that because I've seen so many people do casual runs just like, oh, we can just walk across to you. That's not your fault. Waste a bunch of time. And it's better to be like, this is what happens rather um, um I show you what happens rather say, don't do it. Yeah. Because uh, runners are curious. They're like children. You tell them, don't touch the stove, it's gonna burn you. And they, they, then they touch the stove. Totally not based off a well, true story, I promise. Well, sometimes it's scientific, you know? Like, maybe I can do a trick with this. Or maybe I'll just lock my head on the floor as I fall. <laughs> yep. Oh sweet, at 2070. I wish I had that because I am streaming off of an MSI 1650. You're allowed to cringe. Ooh. Nothing better than the computer I had last year. I was running off like a 720 until last year. <laughs> nice. And then my computer exploded. Oh man. So in this chapter, the um, rooftop jump, uh, rooftop rumble, also known as View from the Top of the World, shout out to my Dream Eater fans out there, because I love Dream Theater the band. Still only at one reference. I'm getting everything. So you go across this gate, and we get to my favorite character again, Locke. I have a tattoo of him. Oh no, you can't see it in the light. I, yeah, I just see the light. <laughs> There, there. I kind of see it, yeah. Yeah, I have a tattoo of him. I will not tell that story here. Basically, um, I got world record. I wanted to get a tattoo. That's fair. But, like, people who know me in real life, when I told them I got a tattoo, they looked at me with, like, the you of all people look, you know? Yeah. I never would have expected that. Uh, like, seriously, you wouldn't expect that, or...? No, the... I... I have no, uh, opinion on the matter. That's just, like, what people thought. Or I, I assume that people around you would have thought. Yeah. Yeah. But based on where your story was going, like, that's how they would have reacted. Yeah. And then, like, people in my family were just like, yeah, that makes sense, you would get a tattoo. But then, like, friends and then colleagues at school and work were just like, hey, you got a tattoo? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Because I'm, I'm just a nerdy jock who likes people. Why would I get a tattoo? Rain outlines your fate. Don't get too close. Here's Becca. You can't run. Tattoos are pretty rad. Yeah. Getting tattoos is not pretty rad. I... <laughs> no, I can't imagine it is. Another let's dance. It is very faster to do this because they have triple defense because they're three people. Okay. But they take triple damage to uh, let's dance, so basically it's the kill. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if I asked this earlier. Uh, for the let's dances, uh, if you miss a note, you can, you can just keep going. Yeah, you can. But if you okay. miss five notes, you stop. And your okay. damage is calculated by how many uh, mariachi dancers are behind you. So if you do, if you have four, that's the second highest damage. But if you get the perfect four, you get a damage above that you don't see. Okay. At least I think they're mariachi dancers. They, they don't explain it. That, that's fair. They, they look like they would be behind, be behind a mariachi band. Uh, while they're uh, playing, there's uh there hasn't been too many of the let's dances. I it is, uh, so obviously not every chapter has a boss. Uh, how many like do you know off the top of your head how many bosses there are on the run? Um, in the run, there are off the top of my head, I'd like to say ten, five let's dances okay. and five regulars. Okay. Um, all the bosses there's fifteen total in the game, so we're missing five. And there's five let's dance for the battle. Alright, welcome to Deadly Danger Dungeon. Shout out to my angry video game nerd fans. Yeah! Alright, right. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, excuse me, four jigs. We're at like two references out of 40 or something <laughs> that I have understood. Thank you, Rocker26 Can Can Dancers. You will pay for that. I, I, I do fever. I don't do dance. So this first half is just getting through it. Is there any pattern to learn, or is it... You just go through it. And, like, if there's no platform, don't swing when there's no platform. Yeah. Yes, I'm going the fastest I can. Is it just a really slow, slow section? Yes, it is. But the next half... Shout out to Lily Mask. Jack the Ripper skin. You'll see why it's called that. It has nothing to do with Jack the Ripper. But his name is Jack Skellington, and he's about to rip it. That's never happened before. <laughs> I, the, the, the perspective here is messed up. So, yeah, it looks very weird. Like if they kept it at the again, only when I'm only when I'm showcasing the game. This wouldn't be games done quick if there wasn't mistakes. So I've been watching games done quick since 2012, and there's one thing that stays consistent. Mistakes. Marathon life. <laughs> that too. You can change the owners, you can change the runners, you can change the game, you can change the timer, you can change the layout. You'll never get rid of that luck. Um, right here, um, there's gonna be a thing shooting at you. It can't hit you until you're over here. Don't get too close. So, like, just stay out of its way. I'm gonna show you how to defeat it. Once it opens his mouth, do a. 
But it's okay. You can just go across when they're done. And then you get four pumpkins here to refill your health because uh, a game giving you health right before a door? I wonder what that could be. <laughs> Can't be anything significant. Oh, right. He's the seven holiday kings because uh, Cupid, uh, Founding Fathers, that's where I would be. Uh, Leprechaun from Leprechaun. The Easter Bunny. Are all here. But you go over to Santa's cage. Sa Santa isn't there. And then his magic blocks you off. He's back. Alright, this is Fun. Spider 3. You're probably asking, where's Spider 2? It's a secret chapter. So what he did there was web shooting. Just don't be in front of it in your climb and don't walk into it or else you'll be uh, stuck inside. You don't get left stance. You have to do this. You have to do this with all your raw, tenacious and grit. Is that the correct saying? I... Sure, I, I do not know <laughs> if like, that's the I, same. I guess I say that a lot, and I was like, wait, should I say raw tenacious and grit? I have no idea. That is, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I missed every reference you made. I, apparently trivia and knowledge are not my forte. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to get him to charge so I can show that off. No, my God. Okay, if you, um, if you walk into it, you get stuck. I was hoping that would make him charge. I, I really want to show it so I can show you how you can uh, avoid it. So he... He crouches and you're supposed to jump out of the way. Okay. This should be the last one. There we go. So you can three or four cycle him, it's really easy. Um, just a quick safety strat for if people are struggling after that boss, like you're low on health. Then, uh, the three Mr. Hides is gonna show up. I was trying to skip that cutscene, that didn't work out. Three Mr. Hides show up right here. There he is.
So you said it was cycle based, but um, is there any way? Is is it dependent on where you are when you're swinging for that to work, or does it just work if you get hit anywhere on that swing? It'll work anywhere you, if you get hit with that screen because it's vertical based. It's basically on okay. that Y axis. That's where you need to be. That X axis, like, doesn't matter, and that Z axis is already automated. Okay. But uh, I, I I did that wrong. I should know that it's supposed to be uh X Y and then Z. <laughs> but doesn't okay. matter. Um, basically, your floor placement doesn't matter. Your Y placement will get auto adjusted no matter what, and Z placement. I did it wrong again. Doesn't matter. But uh, if you miss that, you will land on the platform, and you'll just finish the level a minute and a half later. You'll just fall the way out. It is okay, okay yeah. if you miss that. That that saves a minute and a half, but it has no penalty. Low risk, high reward. And it is my favorite trick in the entire game because every time I do it, I get a serotonin boost. I just think a minute and a half is pretty pretty nice. So being able to hit that is pretty sick. Yeah. Welcome to the Oogie Casino. Everyone over eight, um, everyone under eighteen, leave. <laughs> no, no child, no children in casinos. Yeah. Or in my stream. That my stream is eighteen plus. Like I, I, um, if I ever get to like you know games done quick or arm with their speed or any of that, like I keep it PG thirteen. But like in my stream, I am rated up. So right here, you do not want to collect anything. You do not want to activate Let's Dance, and it's so easy. Dang it. But that's okay, that only does like a sliver of uh, damage. Um, it's so much faster to just not activate uh, Let's Dance. Okay. It's mostly for this. When uh, when he spawns his boogie toys, um, you want to grab the right one. I hit the wall again, but it's okay if I get two because it's gonna just go back um, back to back. Actually, I'm gonna do a blue soul for uh, just safety. Okay. Will the blue soul increase damage on you throwing objects? No, because that's okay. a separate entity. I, I I assume that would be the case. It's just what you're doing, but well, I'm sure. So you want to try to throw in three. You can't throw in four. I even tried to tap it. Like you can't do four. Like, I sat down and learned how to cast on a PC Access 2 just to test if I could do 4, and it, it wasn't worth it. Okay. Alright then, depending on what you did, these last 17 chapters depends on how much money you have to uh, just go wild at the uh, door. So, right now, uh, right before I got in, Boogie Boogie like got word that I destroyed the spider and he booked it to uh, Christmas Town because that wasn't Boogie that was his shadow that was the thing we fought in the first chapter. You're not gonna ask about that. Ask about what's art. The uh, the boss I just fought. It's Shadow, not Boogie Boogie. I I assume that there is lore that I'm missing and that it made sense. I did. <laughs> Here, what do you That's... want? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so we're coming up on two big bosses. Basically an Imagine Dragons album, but we'll get to that then. You want to get Cold Front for that. I can't get Cold Front level 2. I want to, but I can't. Oh, God. And then uh, you want to get a Pumpkin Jack level 2. If you're very money management and you get enough money, you can get level 3, but it's not necessary. Then right here, you just want to upgrade your repossession. It, it just gives you a bigger present, a bigger radius. It just helps out in one chapter. But it's worth it because you're, you're here and this is the last time you can get here. Then go to the left. 
Uh, she won't say that to them if you don't get a crystal skull. Then left, there is no reason not to just fill up your red and blue souls here. It's it's yeah. 20 seconds now that you can save minutes later. And basically the only reason you don't do this beforehand is because you're saving up for things so you don't want to just spam by a bunch of things. Yes, because one of my runs two years ago, I was off by one soul to get my pumpkin jack upgrade. Ooh. And I assume there's no selling. Nope. Yeah, that. So right here, you're going around town just because because you're the king. You want to make sure everyone's good before you get out of here, because the last time you did that, bad things happened. So you're going around town just being like, hey, you good? Good. But here you don't want to skip the cutscene because you have to be... You have to go through the fact that he says, like, Oh, you want me to save them? Okay, then, like, once I get that pumpkin, that's like a flag that says you're good. So, it, you, you can get that, but you don't want to because it makes you be unable to progress? Yeah. Because I'm not... So... I have to make sure everyone's okay, and I need to make sure the kings are safe. Yeah. Because if I try to leave early... I, like, I guess it makes sense, but it's just really weird that you just talk to them and then they're like, Yeah, you didn't talk to them. Yeah. Because it's like, I should make, every, make sure everyone's okay. I should make sure the kings are safe. I should make sure I knew where Oogie went. Yeah. And then... Just fill up your- just fill up everything right here, because this is the last time you're going to be in Halloween Town. Welcome to- uh, we're going to Spiral Hill now. If you went to Hot Topic between, uh, 1994 and 2021, you- you'll find this t-shirt. I was about to say 2005, but then I remember I went to the mall last month and I saw a Spiral Hill t-shirt. Hot Topic just does not get rid of Nightmare Before Christmas. Granted, it's not as much right now as it was like back in the early 2000s, but it's still there. I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas is kind of like a big... Uh, I, I Title's not the right word. It, it, it's, it's big. It's a big... I, 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 it's a big timeless film. Yeah, like I, I can understand why why they would still have to like it. Yeah. And then also he, uh, except for the 50th anniversary for uh, uh, Disney World, because Mickey did that because that, that that's his that's his big anniversary for Disney World. Like, let him have it. Yeah. Um, he celebrated the uh, Halloween, but like mostly Jack Skellington is the host of uh, any Disney Park Halloween event. Yep, that, it makes sense. Yeah. Um, big thing with this, uh, with this actually, um, Tim Burton did not know that Nightmare Before Christmas was popular until the release of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So for almost All right. ten years, he was like, "This was just a flop and only made fifty million while Aladdin overtook everything, and no one remembers it." And then he was in Tokyo for the big release of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He went to a bunch of toy stores. He's like, wait a minute. Why are all these nightmare stuff here? Like, why is there just a whole section for Nightmare Before Christmas? And then, like, he finds out, like, wait a minute. People have been renting this constantly and, like, rewatching it. It's one of the most popular Disney movies of all time. And, like, that shook his world up, like, a few days before.
It's a walk through fire. Yeah, that, that just walking through obstacles things is really convenient. Yeah. I can't believe I've got to do this uh, place. So just the last key you have, reach into your pocket, pull it out, unlock it, then open the gate. That's so obnoxious. That's so obnoxious. I want to get me to Human Vista or Capcom to see how the game was made, because I just want to ask you so many questions. Just let me open the door. Question one, why do I have to take the key out to open a door? I know why, but why? Yeah, I mean, it's an old game, so, like, I understand it, but, like, yeah, I just want to open the door. I got it in my inventory, like, clearly my character knows how to open a door. Yeah. I would hope. So here, I like to have pumpkin shield on so I don't get hit by the uh, exploding guillotine skeleton. Now, this is where the story gets interesting. Oogie put a lock on Spiral Hill. The only way to unlock it is to put holiday doors on here. No time to lose. Okay. So I have to put the because he left the uh, holiday doors with his uh, with his minions, and I have to put the Thanksgiving, the Easter, the Halloween, and the Valentine's Day door on here just to get into the no hinterlands. Okay. Now you shall perish. Shine down. Okay, uh, right now I'm pulling up the map. Um, you can either go to Pumpkin Patch or speedrun.com, or you can literally type in Chapter 19 map onto Google, and we'll be the first image. This is gonna be brutal. I can already, I can already sense it. Um, can I actually uh, actually send you the map on Discord and can you quickly like flash it on screen or is that not possible? Uh, if you, I can grab it off speedrun.com and I can drop the link there. I'll just send you the uh, image so you see what it looks like. Just so I can get your reaction. Oh my god, why? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the link for chat here. Uh, try to go to Pumpkin Patch because they need the support. They're uh, personally owned. Yeah. All right, time for I got I got lost part one because this is a two parter chapter. Shut up. Alright, I'm going to uh, press select and show you all the map, and then I'll tell you why it sucks. They're, they're not connected like you think they are. Oh. Oh, I just understood what all these dots are, and this makes everything so much worse. <laughs> you see this I, I, You think, oh, I'll go left and I'll go into that bottom. No. No, you go into the top so, left. So, for chat, since I don't have the link yet, uh, all, all of these little points are uh, teleporter maps, or like teleporter points, and they do not link up in any, I, any discerning fashion. There is no rhyme or reason to this. Okay, so you saw the map, so I'm going... Okay, I'll quickly say. So you think I'm going to... If I go up here, you'll think I'll go into that little kidney-looking thing? Yeah. So that's what it looks like I'll go to. Nope. Yeah, I have been using a map for five years, and I, four or five years, and I still don't know where I'm going half the time. I remember one time my uh, my logo creator Bilsterbugs was in the chat. I'm halfway through the uh, um halfway through the run, 
and it's on world record pace. And I was like, I forgot to get the map, and I literally like yelled to my friends in the chat, like, "Those dogs, get me it!" <laughs> Look, thank you for dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Bill Strapons, for saving me. So right here, um, the doors overtake the boogie form, and it heals the henchman. The professor, you ask? Why? Well, we only have two doors. What are we gonna do for the other four? Gauntlets. This is four gauntlets. After you get lost, after you save everything. Shouldn't let your guard down. And the enemies don't respond, even when you heal the area. Wait, 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 I forgot, wait, I forgot, wait, I forgot, help, help. to the core. Okay, I'm gonna actually pull the map for the first time. No, no. Because I'm trying to look at like four different things and it's not working out for me. So my, my advice to all of y'all is use, use the map. That's, that's how you beat this chapter, you use the map. So far I have not dropped a single frame, which is awesome. Unfortunately I'm using 10% of my CPU. I, I, I'll be honest, I think I should have used the Elgato HD because I switched to my GB at USB 2 last minute because of my Spongebob run the other day. And then my Kingdom Hearts 2 jump on stream. Which I couldn't even do because of internet. Um, uh, please? Uh, I'm not gonna say it. I'll do the end of the show. Not! I don't know what you're talking about. I knocked on wood just now. Do not say that here. I, yep, I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I I realized what was happening. <laughs> it's like saying quiet in a hospital. I I caught myself. Don't worry. No, uh, if you say quiet in a hospital, suddenly you're gonna have the worst hospital time in years. At least according to TikTok. Alright, um, each area is themed. Uh, Halloween Town is themed after surprises. So you're gonna have to deal with six, uh, surprise jack o -lanterns. I have pumpkin shield level 2, it doesn't matter. Shine down. Done. Now for the ghosts. More speed. Shut up. Oh no, I am not playing that, no. You are not flying away. That wouldn't have been awesome. <laughs> yeah, because you're timed. If you fail that, you die. Oh, I'm kidding, you just have to restart it. Which is awful for Thanksgiving. Erase all threats. I mean, I can restart the show. Yeah. Um, so for Valentine's Day, my love is big for you. So you have to defeat three king skeletons. Okay. They were trying to theme it, but then they gave up at Easter because it's the exact same as Valentine's. Thank for mercy. <laughs> will be mine. Um, also, if I can make one... Like, suggestion when playing this? Try to get a CRT television. Wait, is it the bottom? Wait, is it the bottom? Wait, is it the bottom? Yes, it is. I'm not going to get lost. I am an Eagle Scout. I will not get lost. That's my Boy Scouts out there. Beg for mercy. Or is it, is it still Boy Scouts or is it Scouts now? I don't know if they made the change yet. You are asking a Canadian about Boy Scouts, and my answer is I don't know. Well, you have Adventure Scouts, which is um, which had a female representation since the beginning. Because that's like a fun old I, girl and Boy Scouts. I I also don't know a thing about any sort of program we've had in Canada about it, to be honest. 
I was never a part of this. Oh, Canadian? Shoutouts to Demons and Canuck, the uh, Canadians of the... Uh, not this one, but uh, the Scott Pilgrim community. Because I'm also in that. If game, this game's done quick, please put um, Scott Pilgrim in there. It's been 10 years. Uh. Shoutouts to Canuck. Shoutouts to Canuck. Because uh, that, that man does not know any boundaries when it comes to speedrunning anything. Even when he even if when he teaches me how to speedrun, he has no boundaries. Like he will make sure I learn everything to the very micro detail. <laughs> oh my God, Neronium's here! I'm sorry. Uh, um, he is my favorite Let's Player of all time. I cannot believe he is here and watching. Well, of course I can. I talked to him yesterday. But still. Um, he actually, I watched his Let's Play before I even started speedrunning this game, so I'm glad he's here. Alright then, Thanksgiving. You, it's a very banquet level holiday. You have to fight every single enemy that's not a ghost here. Okay. The Xbox version, unless you're playing on a Samsung drive this lags I can't stop it but even though it lags it's still the fastest version but still is there any, is there any like lag mitigation strats or anything or are you just deal with the lag uh download the but there we're goes. not allowed to do that yet there so short of external uh, solutions. The solution is just you deal with the lag. Yeah. It gets okay. bad sometimes. It gets really bad sometimes. I bet if I, like, I hacked a FPS counter into the game, then, like, you'd be able to see, uh, like, it goes down, like, 10 frames a second. Okay. Is it, does it correlate to, like, how many enemies are on the screen, or is it just, like, random live drops? Uh, it correlates to how many entities are on the screen. Yeah. So like the souls, the mm -hmm. the enemies, the enemies' weapons, the uh, troll skeletons gotcha. are basically double entity because they have to load the body and then the legs. Okay. So there's like I think a hundred and ten enemies here. At least that's what a uh, Brady game said. That's a lot of enemies. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I don't get to look at chat, Neuronium. I'm too busy playing the game. I wish this game was on PC. But honestly, if uh, out of the blue, one day Capcom said, uh, oh, by the way, you can play Luigi's Revenge on Xbox Series X, I'm going to be out the door to my local Best Buy and drop $600 on the table. Because I have no next-gen consoles. I'm a broke tech school boy because I didn't go to college but tech school is still okay <laughs> another uh, thing uh, if you want to go to tech school instead of college go to tech school it's a good idea but also is going to college mm -hmm. if you're going for the right degree mm -hmm. so yeah they just rip off uh, Valentine's Day so it's just the same thing. Yeah. There might Wait, be... Wait, is there... Yeah. There might be some Christian uh, re resemblance to this, but I'd have to reread the Bible to figure that out. Is... So, wait, the enemy account you gave me, was that for both sections, or is that for just one? That's just for Thanksgiving. Do you, is it the same in this one? Uh, no, you just do three in this one, three in, uh, Valentine's Day, and then six in Halloween. <laughs> Thanksgiving's just like, here you go. <laughs> they didn't even, they didn't even try to, like, balance it out so it was even amongst them. They're just like, here's a hundred, you said hundred and ten or hundred and forty? Hundred and ten. 
Okay, yeah. There's 110 in this one, and then there's like 12 in the next three. Go ahead, have fun. Yeah. What is the right degree in Celsius or Fahrenheit? Celsius. Fahrenheit for uh, the human body, Celsius for water, Kelvin for science. That's my opinion.